We're on the fifth floor of the Museum of Modern Art, looking at a painting by Pablo Picasso from 1909, from the summer of 1909, Porta de Ibro. And it's one of Picasso's critical early Cubist paintings. It looks very Cubist already. <laughs> I mean, it already looks like a radical departure from Cezanne. But this is two years after Les Demoiselles d'Avignon. Yeah. So he's already made that step. He has. And this is one of those paintings that lives up to the title of the movement, right? Cubism, because I mean, yeah, it really it, looks like little cubes. It does. <laughs> the art historical chronology is usually that after Demoiselle, Brock really begins to explore Cezanne in very serious ways. Picasso responds to... Follows Brock. Yeah, by way of Cezanne, exactly right. Um, and he had gone to the south of Spain to this very arid environment, and you can really get a sense of the terracotta. We're looking at a hilltop town. There's a little water collect down at the bottom right, and actually you can even see the reflection in the surface of the water there. Mm -hmm. Of course, what most people find so interesting about this painting is his willingness to pull and push perspective. Mm -hmm. So that we're looking sometimes at the top of things and the sides of things from below and from above as though we were moving and shifting our gaze through the site. Yeah, so that the objects become plastic, they become you know, malleable, they become shaped by our movement through space and through time. But they're also all interconnected. That thing that Picasso and Cezanne started also before him of interlocking these different planes by color so that something yeah. that's brown moves into something else that's brown that, that is a different shape that's the top of a house that moves into the side of a house so that there's really a kind of loss of the separation of different forms in a space. It becomes a synthetic whole. And actually, he's doing something else that I think further assists that. If you look at shadow and reflection, they become almost objects in space themselves rather than just sort of optical phenomena. What do you mean? Well, if you look, for instance, at some of the doorways right. in the center of the canvas, yeah. you can see that there are shadows or reflections that cast off that, that are in some ways almost as solid as mm -hmm. the objects that are purported to create those optical phenomena, mm -hmm. right? So that there's almost this leveling of object and the visual. And surface? More than surface. Object and, in a sense, the visual phenomena. Uh, phenomena. Something that is pure sight and intangible uh -huh. becomes as important in the canvas uh -huh. as a building. Maybe the way that we begin to see in Les Demoiselles that the space itself between the figures seems solid. Yes, exactly okay. right. The other thing that struck me as funny when you said that this was a village was that I imagined sunlight in a landscape and there's no sense of light no, here to me no, at all. There isn't. You're right. It's funny that light has been, I mean light is clearly the thing that constructs form here. Right. right? You've got shadow, you've right. got areas of light, but in fact there is no actual no. direction. It almost has more to do with the subjective experience of one sight as one moves through the way in which light is cast or shadow is cast than what is, in fact, from nature. Right. And the other thing that strikes me is the way that, for example, you were talking about those doorways. The one on the, in the center really looks like a doorway into something. But just to the left of that, there's something else that seems to be a doorway that also casts a shadow, but is also much more obviously a stroke of paint. Right, and it almost seems like a positive form in front of the building, in a sense. Right. That's right. If and yet gonna... it's also a brush stroke. That's right. That's, that's wonderful. So this is constant sort of dislocation of the way in which form is constructed. So it's not just about the rendering of form, it's not just the observing of form, it's actually also sort of this funny dislocating of the process of rendering form. Right. Yeah. It's very self-conscious in a very modern way. It certainly is. Thank you.